we're going to look at how to wrap text in Google Sheets. So if you have data and you can't see all the data in the cell because it's running into the next cell, we can wrap the text to make it all visible. So a quick way to do this in a single cell, you can go to Format, Wrapping, and you can click Wrap. You can also set it to Overflow or to Clip. So Overflow and Clip are gonna look the same if you have data in the next cell to the right. So if we go over here on the right hand side, we can see this one is currently running over and it's because this one is set to overflow. If we set it to clipped, you can see now it ends at that cell. Or if we click wrap, then it will wrap the text and expand the row to fit the data. So sometimes the data will not expand so I will show you here. If we resize these rows and specify a row height. Now, if we wrap this, it's not showing because this is a fixed row height, not to fit to data. So to fix that, if you wrap it and it's not showing up, simply select the rows and click fit to data. And then it will wrap accordingly. To wrap an entire row, just select the row here at the top, and you can do it again here. And you can do wrap, you can set clip, or you can set overflow. Another way you can handle this is you can manually set a line break in a cell, and you have text here. Maybe you have a one, two, three, or something like that. So what you can do in here is click where you want to add the line break, and then you can do either alt enter or control enter and it will move that text to the next line Hit enter and then it will automatically expand the row height to fit the text if you want to go back you can simply delete those go back to the way it was all right now let's look at using a macro to accomplish the same thing the advantage of this is it allows us to use a keyboard shortcut or to add some other functionality into the macro. So let's go ahead and select our column here. And then we're gonna go ahead and record a macro. Make sure we use relative references. Go ahead and wrap this. Click save, we can name this. And then we can assign our keyboard shortcut. So from now on, you can see we can use control plus alt plus shift plus one. And then that macro will run. One thing to keep in mind, if you haven't used a macro before, it's the first time you use it, you will have to authorize it. But since we've already authorized it, we will be able to demonstrate this for you without that workflow. So let's go ahead and go back to overflow. And now let's go ahead and select this and use our keyboard shortcut to run our macro. So again, you can see it from here. Click wrap text, then it does it again. Finally, we're going to go into app script, which is where the macros live, by the way. There's the macro there. And we can go into code, and I have pre-written some simple scripts here that use wrapping in the app script. So for example, we have a simple wrap here. So let's go ahead and reset this to overflow. So we have this one, we'll wrap everything in column B and P. So we've got B, and then let's set this to N where our notes are. And then let's go ahead and run this simple wrap. You can see it just wrapped those columns. So to unwrap them, we can change this true to false. Click run and it got reset. Next, we can see we have this other method called set wrap strategy. In this one, we'll be able to use wrap, clip, or overflow. So let's go ahead and just do wrap on both B and N. So let's go to wrap test, run. And you can see we wrap those again. Let's go ahead and change these to clip. And we'll run again. You can see now that it's clipped. Then finally, we can set a wrap for each cell and then apply 
in bulk like this. So let's go ahead and run this final one. And then run our cylinder. So if we go here, we should see a clip, wrap, clip, and overflow. So let's go ahead and add another wrap here just so you can see this for sure. Hit run. And we can see we have clip, wrap, clip, and wrap. All right, that is it for today. Tune back again soon for other videos.